Now, the lead singer always is the, the focal point of most bands and seems to get more attention than the others. And just before we started this interview... Not so true. A little girl came up to us. She said, well, who are you going to interview? We said, we're going to interview Steve Perry. And she said, well, who's he? Uh, right, see? The, she knew his journey, but she didn't know which one. Did, is, does he play the guitar? Does he sing? So Journey has been able to maintain that. That's right. That's what I was saying. It's, it's not so true. This band is, is a different circumstance than most groups. Uh, you'll always find... 98% of the groups have a tendency to to just do that. They seem to like push one person out there, or else the manager might own the singer, you know, and supply uh, the rest of the cats. In this situation, as I, as I said earlier, you have five professional, strong, independent, proficient players, um, and they're virtuosos in their own right. Okay, you perform 180 nights a year. Physically, how is it different for a singer than, let's say, a drummer or a guitar player? Guitar player gets calluses on his fingers, well, that means he can really burn, you know. He's got some calluses, his fingers won't hurt him no more. Uh, the drummer gets some, some big muscles and calluses on his hands, that means his hands aren't going to get blistered anymore. A singer gets calluses on his chords, he's finished. Mm -hmm. See, so it's a complete opposite situation, and you get calluses on your chords by, by abuse. Uh, so uh, I try not to abuse myself, I provide uh, myself with preventative medicine. Some people thought that the music in the early days was very heavy FM instrumental. Now it's very much vocal and in some cases even very commercial. When, when you're not successful, uh, people, people just burn you to the ground. You know? When you're not doing well, they say, well, obviously we know why. Do all the critics just tear you apart? These guys are, quote unquote, I'm giving you quotes from the years when we weren't doing as well as we are now. Diffused energy, diffused direction, a lack of cohesiveness in the music. <laughs> um, no focal points, nothing interesting. Forensic guitar playing, you know, all this stuff. Now, those same ones are saying, you know, we are commercial, da 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 da. I, my question to those people are, you know, what is commercial? You know, is, is, uh, is Pink Floyd commercial? Is our Led Zeppelin commercial? These people are popular, that's all. In that case, is the final arbiter of the audience? Absolutely. The people are the ones that decide. we That's why we don't give a diddly hmm uh, what, what they write about us. Because the night before, when the guy was there writing about it, those people went crazy, they had a great time, they had as much fun as we did. We have good memories from it. We walk off stage with good memories. The next morning we're still charged and looking forward to the next show. Uh, and we open the paper, and there's some schmuck has been to the show <laughs> saying that the thing was a, a complete mess, and, and, you know, some of them still think we're forensic. <laughs> to your answer of commerciality, some think we're still diffused. Now, as far as their responses to your music, are you surprised that uh, Love and Touch and Squeezing has been the one that's <laughs> been the most prominent of all the songs that you guys have done? Yeah, I, I'm delighted uh, and surprised.